Welcome back, everybody. My next guest tonight is a stand-up comedian making his late-night network debut. Please welcome Jacob Williams. <laughs> Thank you. So I've decided not to go to the Apple store anymore because people ask me a lot of questions when I go there. <laughs> and I don't work there. <laughs> but recently I did this stand-up show. This guy introduced me. He's like, give it up for Jacob. He's single. And then I realized I'd never told him that I was single. <laughs> I don't know how he knew that right away just from looking at me. but. One time I realized how long I'd been single, I asked for a cup of coffee, and the lady behind the counter was handing it to me. There was this moment where our fingers touched, and I realized how long I'd been single because it was way too big of a moment <laughs> for me. Like, at this point, I think my dream date would be to go on one. Like, usually if I have a crush on someone, I don't say anything to her at first, and then I never say anything to her. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to work out. But I tried online dating. Someone told me online dating was invented for people like me, which I don't think was a compliment. <laughs> at one point, the dating app told me I was out of people. I hadn't even been on any dates yet. <laughs> that really hurt my feelings that a whole city would unanimously decide to not go out with me. I do have a couple of matches now. Everyone I match up with has a picture of her standing next to a stormtrooper. So I changed my profile picture. Now it's just me dressed up like a stormtrooper. In case someone I matched up with is like, oh, what I like most about your face is when I can't see it. I actually started texting with someone I met on there. She's like, hey, you're a comedian. Where do you like to preform? I was like, wait a minute, preform? I guess in my mom's womb. And she did not text me back. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be preforming for her in the bedroom. <laughs> but anyway, I'm from Kentucky originally. And some people don't guess that based on how I talk. They guess that I'm from a robot factory. <laughs> Whenever I call my parents, my mom gives me an update of the weather in my hometown. I have to be like, Mom, it's OK. I can find that out on my own. But I'm not calling you to find out the weather. I'm calling you because I need money. <laughs> I'm trying to be healthier. And uh, someone told me to only eat green foods to be healthy. I feel like that's a huge waste of all the other M&Ms. <laughs> but I do want to eat healthy. So I ordered a salad. I was like, can I have some beets? And the person's like, that's gross. I don't like beets. I'm like, that's OK. I'm not going to share. <laughs> Right now, my workout plan is just sitting on the couch and hoping things will work out. <laughs> it's tough. Like, I can't afford a personal trainer, so I just eavesdrop on other people's trainers and try to use that information. <laughs> it's kind of like a very impersonal trainer for me. And so I was doing that. This guy was like, hey, you should lift weights. And then when you rest, that's when your muscles grow. And I tried that. I tried lifting weights. I tried resting for like three or four years. <laughs> but I really like doing comedy. I'll be doing some comedy later in my set tonight. <laughs> and sometimes I do comedy on the show Wild and Out on MTV. It's like a hip hop style improv show. So people get confused when they find out I'm on it. They're like, oh, you mean like you're the accountant? Because I'm very white. I just found out my blood type is khaki. <laughs> the first year I did that show, I couldn't get into the after party. The guy was like, this is for the cast of Wild and Out. I'm like, yeah, I'm in the cast. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah? Well, you seem to know what you're talking about. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> but this lady recognized me recently. I was so excited. She's like, hey, I've never met a real celebrity before. I'm like, oh, you've still never met <laughs> a real celebrity. Sometimes it's awkward if someone's like, you look familiar. I'm like, oh, did you see me on TV? They're like, no, I think I saw you at the Apple store <laughs> earlier. Thank you so much. My name's Jacob Williams. Thank you. You can see him in New York City at the stand on February 7th. Jacob Williams, everybody.